Hello guys, and welcome back! Where we last left off, I was left with this difficult decision. Do I... give the United Kingdom its semi-independence under my rule? Or do I take it back? Now, this is the problem. They did rebel, and if I liberate them, uh, I will never have to deal with rebellions ever again. At least here. Uh, and, you know, I could move the army on elsewhere. They could help in the invasion of Germany. On the other hand, this is one of my best, like, money makers in my empire. And if I give it away, I won't get anything from it. So, I could go option C and just loot it. <laughs> God, look how unhappy they would be. Um... Oh, God, I don't know. Uh, sorry, Britain, but no. You rebelled, so you do not get your independence. That's how it works. We gotta teach them a lesson. We can't teach them if you rebel, then you get some auto autonomy. You don't get anything if you rebel. If you rebel, you die, and then I take over. That's how it works here. Okay? You got that, Britain? Okay. With that done, let's move on to Stockholm still. It's just the German fleets. As I... I'm still in Korska. Oh yeah, their fleets are back. They'll be fighting me now. And we have our own ships down here. I'll wait till France is dead before I actually do something there. So yeah, uh, I think that's all I can do this turn, so next turn. Oh, again, I, uh, I forgot. So I can probably actually move these out. Uh, the mortars will stay as a defense, but I need these gunners. I need the infantry. So I'm going to need a lot more... Rifleman here. Let's see. Okay, so so we'll get um two more light houncers and sure we'll get them. They'll be the oh I can get that as well trench gunners. Uh, how is their range in comparison to others? Um. They're really close up. Uh, they got a shotgun. I can't say no. I... Come on. How could I say no? We'll get two of those. It's like an experimental force. And we'll make the rest into riflemen. It's also a war of technology. This is what this is. Since we can't have tanks, we gotta make do of shotguns. Anyway, I think we're now done. Next turn. Nah. Just no. I uh, don't really need to say anything else. I'd like to see if somebody actually brought that up to me. He's like, so the nation of France is uh, off to a peace tree. He's like, nah. Send it back. Are you, are you sure you don't even want to look at it? No, nope, no, just send it back. I said nah. Let's go. Okay, so Russia isn't doing as well as before, um, Austro-Hungary is breaking through again. And Germany's gonna take their time. And I'm gonna have to put up with more rebellions in London over there. So I'll just cut back. Okay. So... A lot of people on strike. Again, France is fine again. Just can't make up their mind. And here, I still need to repair all the buildings. God, that's going to take ten turns. Yeah, that's not good. Might need reinforcements from Wales. Quick, get the Welsh! I need... I need reinforcements! And send the Scottish down! We need to reinforce the capital of the British Isles here. We need London to be good.
And, uh, yeah, the Battle for Corsica. Zoomed in a bit too far there, but the Battle for Corsica is about to go underway. We actually got... We got cavalry! Oh, that's gonna be... Terrible. Um... What have they got? They got riflemen, conscripts, 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 conscripts... And, uh, light infantry. So, I'll see you on the battle map when I absolutely... as bad that this army. Let me start over. Where I, where I absolutely destroy this army. Okay, was that English enough? Good. I'll see you then. Okay, so once again I'm showing you the deployment screen because... I could potentially kill the general right now. He's in range. And also I'm gonna send these guys to their death, so thank you for sending me them, but um... Forces are not really standard issue in the Evil Dutch Army. So, let's go. Kill! Kill that general! Seven men and we get, didn't kill him. Oh damn it, that was our perfect chance. Maybe next time. Anyway, the general has not, uh, has chosen- Oh god, you're- is it, No! I forgot to place you. I was too busy- Thinking of how much fun I could have with snipers. Okay, send them to safety. This general has not shown his face because he's ashamed. He went to go shave his beard down to a mustache and he... It just ended up clean-shaven. And nobody wants a clean-shaven general, especially in World War I. Everyone who's anyone in World War I has some sort of facial hair. Any general, any self-respecting general, at least in my army, has some sort of beard. Okay, that's some sort of facial hair, even if it's just like a, some stubble, I don't know. If you do not, then you are being judged instantly. You will not get past lieutenants. You won't. Or lieutenants. Or whatever you want to say. Okay, let's see how well this works, okay? I'm gonna... This is the first ever test, and these are not really pushover uh, horsemen. So give it a try. Let's um, let's see. Give it a shot. Literally, give it a shot. Nope, not working. Okay, so do what you're probably meant for and just charge. They're just getting in the way. Cypher's like, when did we accept horses into the army? They're just going in the way. For, mi for a minute, I thought that was a cart. I don't know why, I just thought it was a cart moving. Anyway, um... The Dutch Corsican War has begun. And will probably end in, a, in less than a month. Oh yeah, I like somebody's idea. Um, since we're a republic, air quotes, uh, we should definitely make Germany into a republic. I'm thinking the uh, Weimar Republic. We could do that. We c it's it was post-war uh, Germany, you know, after Treaty of Versailles. Uh, we should do that. We should definitely try that because nothing can go wrong. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. There'll be no Adolf Hitler to stand in my way. I'm pretty sure. I, I don't know if we'll be friends or not. Uh, not that I said no, N because he would be a person. He would be probably in this cabinet. Honestly, he would never become a Nazi if he was in the evil Dutch Empire, would he? Just think about it. I could prevent a World War II. By just convincing him that what we got is good enough. What are you doing with those guns? I just said I was friends. I mean, Hitler could have been friends. Jesus Christ. In the context of this, I'm a world conqueror. Ah, oh, God. I'm terrible. Uh, anyway. I mean, we have evil Dutch Empire in our name. I don't even know what I'm going on about. I've just, I've literally said in the title. It's not exactly like we're doing any good. So I guess you are not as, uh, prefer to become our subjects. And give us the gold. 
Oh no. Oh well, that's fine. But yeah, like, um... Mussolini from Italy, Adolf Hitler... The life would be dead? Actually, they probably would be dead, because we normally kill everyone that we come across. So, never mind. He would either be in, like, the evil Dutch Empire, or he would be dead. That's... That's it. That's, that's his two options. I made a few Hitler comparisons in this let's play, I don't know why. Well, I know why, because uh, this <laughs> Dutch Empire is... Uh, it's getting similar and similar as uh, we go along. I already have fascism. Just don't hate me! <laughs> Please, guys, don't hate me! I know we say Finns, and sometimes it comes out wrong. But people do that, and uh... Let's just uh, enjoy killing the French. Let's just do that. Can, can we do that, guys? Unless you're French, in which case... I don't suppose you could enjoy that, unless you do, because I... Certainly enjoyed killing those British ninjas. Sorry about that. We win. Uh, let's, um... Keep going. So my snipers are attacking them from behind, and they're running slowly towards the trenches. They're not gonna live much longer. Uh, no, no, they're not. No. Did they bounce off the roof? Did anyone else see that? Snipers from behind, uh, artillery, and my trenches in front. They are gonna die. These Cypress are probably the best fin I've ever invested in. A well, a new fin I've invested in. Obviously, the artillery is number one. But you know, the new squad's definitely snipers. And they're broken. Okay, see the results. So, 233 men was lost to my men. And they lost 2,349 men. So, um, he put his beard back on. He managed to glue it on. Using other people's beards. And, uh, bye, France. I win. <laughs> so how many major nations are left? Five. Of course, guy is mine. And now I can put out, um, you know, the trade ships. I can get all the tea I want. All of it's all the thousand tea that I that I can carry. Well, thousand teas worth of, teas worth of goods. Yeah. Okay, we'll go. That's that. Teas worth of goods. Tea is now a measurement of goods because I messed up. Because I like to do that in let's plays. Uh. Yeah. Anyway, I think I'm gonna cut it short. Honestly. Should I, should I cut it short? I think I can actually get through one more turn. Don't think any major battle's gonna happen, so... Next turn. No! Why do you keep doing this, Germany? I don't want to fight Russia! Leave me alone! Just go! God! Always telling me, hey, can you help me with Russia? Having a few problems over here. Getting closer to winter! Could use all that industry that you have around there. I just keep ignoring them. Anyway, let's get the conscripts again. Because they're cheap and they maintain public, uh, public order. My army is still coming down. And the army to go to Sweden will be there next turn. It's all going well. And this army will soon depart for uh, Sardinia, I think. I think that's where the invasion will begin. 
Then maybe they can hop onto Sicily, and then, who knows, it could just, like, one attack from the south, one from the north, meet up at Rome. Could happen. Uh, but I still need an army to go down here. I need an Italian army. Which might be, um, the one con uh, congregated in here. So if we can get some... Let's actually take out the men that I need. So if I take you... And you... And get some, uh... No, not that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We'll get that. Get some conscripts going on. And yeah, I think that'll about do it. So, thanks for watching, guys, and next time... I guess... Invasion of Sweden? Sweden? Yeah, Sweden. And then it'll be Denmark, into Italy, on to Berlin and Austria. Or Vienna. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you then. Later.